Hello guys, and welcome back to my real let's play of Doom 3. From where we last left off, we've gone deeper into Caverns 1, and now we're going into Caverns Area 2, according to the loading screen right here. And now, as you know, my last video, I already mentioned I watched like the Ed and Eddie and Jimmy Neutron Halloween episodes, and, well, the Ed and Eddie Halloween special is this, like a TV special. And I forgot to tell you that I've I also watched Mickey's House of Villains. So I still remember Mickey taking on Jafar you know, you know, towards the end. You know, Jafar from Aladdin. There were other villains in there. And I like this. I like, I like Chernobog from Fantasia and Maleficent and Sleeping Beauty. And Captain Hook from Peter Pan. And who else? Oh yeah, there was Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And there was also a car from The Jungle Book. You know, the snake. I'm sure they could have had a Shere Khan in that. And who else is there? I already mentioned Captain Hook. And oh yeah, there was like Hades from Hercules. And I believe there was Pete, who was Mickey's arch enemy. I believe Frollo was in that. <laughs> was Governor Ratcliffe. Uh, you see, I've got the Soul Cube active. Can where, where we left off. Oh crud, I knew uh, an arch bar was going to be- Do you know that? Whoa! Hell Knight! Oh, this is going to cause me more problems with an arch bar and a Hell Knight. I'll use the BFG on this Hell Knight. But you've all been waiting for this! You really have to be careful with using the BFG 9000 when you're close proximity. But like with the rocket launcher, for instance. Now always remember to not to overload this weapon, otherwise it will explode. Okay, now we have rocks coming down on us. It's a good thing it's not stalactites. For you back which is why you're often getting caves. Or stalagmites. You know, like these things here. Well, they're like tooth. Like. Oopsie. Oh, yeah, that worked on him, but not on him. Hey, get the word from me! There's one behind me, isn't there? Nope. Time for the chainsaw for its last appearance in this level. Or oh, hopefully. That won't get to use it in the final level. Oh, there's a blue key. Uh, I'll, I'll take that. I guess that's a key for the storage room. We're gonna go back to. Ah! Oh no, not you two again! Oh, wait a minute, I've got the chainsaw. It's probably fitting to see the chainsaw in, the, in its last appearance in Doom 3. This level will mark the chainsaw's last appearance, like I already mentioned. Because in the last mission and the resurrection of evil, we won't get to use it. Some supplies in here. Oh crud, tried. Somebody call for a bug exterminator?
Huh, I think that's all of the trides. Now we can move further on. Now, let me guess, more? Well, there's no more until further on. Can you really tell all hell is broken loose around here? Let's go up here and see what's... Or what am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? See what's up ahead. Hmm. Well, I needed some help anyway. Let's see here. Uh, there's a power generator which we need to turn on. Good, now we'll set off a chain of events like so. The hell night up here. Alright! Oh, a fully BFG shoot. Fully charged BFG shot, is it? You know, what I'm trying to say is... A full... A full BFG 9000 blast is enough to deal with a Hell Knight. Whoa! Where did you come from? Whoa! Like I said, always take care of the arch valve first. Before he makes things aggro for you. In the meantime, let's turn the power on in here. So we can see even more clearly. <sighs> Any autosaves is kicking in. <sighs> what the heck? I can see shadows. Like shadow. Oopsie. Get me up here! Oh, oh, gosh! And you think I'm still fighting up spiders? Just watch what the tries are gonna do here. Look at that one here! He's not moving! It's like the lost soul in the waste tunnels in Doom 2 on the PlayStation. Hey, well, I don't use the pistol quite often. Why didn't I throw the grenade on them? Alright, oh, mind you, a holy hand grenade is enough to wipe them all out. Like I should've done with that arch file. You know the holy hand grenade from Worms? It's very iconic. You know, but the reason why it's iconic is whenever the countdown is over, it, it, it lets out this sound effect of like, Hallelujah! <laughs> the blood rates everything! <laughs> I love that sound effect. Mind you. It could have gone better with Mr. Bean's hallelujah. And the worms are like, they're like, they're like, run away! Oh, uh oh. And then the holy hand grenade would be like, hallelujah! <laughs> with Mr. Bean's hallelujah. And then, kaboom! I mean, would you trust Mr. Bean's hallelujah to blow up everything? <laughs> oh, yeah, is that traveler we all remember? Wait for these ceiling tiles to come down. But don't go through there when they're coming down on you. Like what I remember in the Xbox version. <laughs> I went through there when the tiles were when the tiles here were falling on me and it killed me instantly. I'm doing this for safer reasons. Now everything's coming apart as you can see right here. Okay, we can't go through there. I'm saving the soul cube for the last part of this level. Oh, come on! Really? Wait, it's coming my way! Let's go over the bank with the chainsaw, shall we? Look at us, three of them! And the imp just teleported in front of me. Oh, 
This should get things done really quickly. We should get the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in here. Like Leatherface. Whew. Hello. Is that video disc right here? Let's have a look. Before we move it before we move any fur move any further. I believe this is the last one we collected in Doom 3. We've looked through everything so far. Have I already picked it up? This is Dr. Pugh. Okay, we've already looked at that. Oh yeah. Let's have a quick look. Ah, oh, here we go. Tablets! Setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts. These tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. Subsequent examination of the surrounding area and carbon dating of the tablets brought UAC researchers to the conclusion that the tablets belonged to a civilization that existed millennia ago and were placed in a holy burial ground of some sort. Utilizing the best minds in linguistics and UAC proprietary pattern recognition software, the tablets were exhaustively examined. What we found was fantastic. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of scientific data specifically detailing the mathematical concepts behind teleportation. UAC researchers use this information as the cornerstone for building the Delta teleportation devices. The second and third tablets illustrate an epic story, a story of war, and how, faced with impossible odds, the ultimate sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul Cube. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth stone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere, where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our assumption is that time has removed all but what we now see. Yeah, this video tells us about these tablets, about the ancient civilization, and all that. But this is the last video disc we will ever collect in Doom 3, until the Lost Mission and the Resurrection of Evil. Hello, that looked like a microscope. Anyway, let's move further into the caverns. Into these chambers. But it's not the Chamber of Secrets from Harry Potter. Ooh, don't expect the Basilisk anytime soon. Hello, let's turn this on and see what. Uh oh. Oh, there's a hell knife right here. Time to use the chainsaw on these tries again. Look at another corner me this time. Well, they do like to pounce on you like the imps. But where's the imp? There he is. Let's just take him out of the rocket launcher. Need to go need to be a man about this. No! Oh, he sure fell on that one! Look at that! Oh, the Trugger! Right, time to go all manly. I'm saving the soul cube for the final part of this level. Well, we really saw the BFG here in action. Anyway, let's turn the this is the third power generator. I mean, how many more are we going to turn on?
Whoopsie, where'd you come from? Okay, was it was that scripted when you picked the armor shot up? Oh, these spike balls look familiar. Let me guess. Uh, might get the chain gun now for this one. Uh oh, don't tell me. Thank you, Ace! I thought I already, I thought I already killed one! I need to again watch out for telekinesis. Like, the, which that's the same function the Spider Mastermind uses in the new Doom. Except she can only do that when she's badly crippled. Have you used the Soul Cube on one? Okay, then we'll use the BFG on them. But well, one Spider Queen down. Could have vaguely in her offspring, like the Arachnotrons in the Spider Mastermind. Well, that's the Queen down! But her offspring's still alive! Well, I was gonna take care of them first, but then the tribes. Then the vaguely, I mean. Oh, yeah, time to use the Soul Cube on the last one. I think he's like, you What the? How are you still alive? Boy, as, as the tribes swarm out of the way and their queens, I believe he was like, you killed my mom! Now you'll pay! Oh, that door opens when you kill the piggies. That was like a mini boss battle, if you're wondering. Okay, let's check this part to see if there's anything left. Uh, I mean, we already killed one vaguely in the Alpha Labs. This is the one where you count to two. Ah! Med kid right here. And then it's a fourth and last power generator in this level. But I don't need to shoot the barrels here. Oh, burped again. Okay, we can't fall down here. We have to take the lift. It's the safest way down. Let's uh, cycle through my weapons right here. Well, it was worth it. Well, we're using the chainsaw on its last appearance in this one. And unfortunately, I won't have time to go through the excavation level, which is the final level. And at this point, I'm going to cut off here. But I will see you next time in my finale of this Wii Let's Play of Doom 3 on the BFG edition. So until then, bye!